Hello and welcome to this short guided meditation on working with boundaries, so staying grounded and centered in yourself, knowing what is yours, what emotions are yours, what thoughts are yours, what energies are yours, and what emotions, energies, and thoughts are someone else's. And practicing the boundary or the separation between your emotions, thoughts, and energies, and the other person's. This is all about living from a place of clarity where you feel into yourself, connect with yourself, know yourself and respond to the other rather than react. This will help you to develop stronger relationships, more peaceful and harmonious relationships with less conflict, less tangled emotions. And it will also help you to learn which people and which relationships are appropriate and right for you at this time, which are a match for your energy, which people and which connections will elevate you and help you move into your higher consciousness and to stay there supported by these connections. So first we ground in to our own being, breathing in through the nostrils, holding our breath in our chest region Feeling the expansion and then exhaling slowly for one, two, three, four, five. Inhaling again, holding the breath for one, two, three, four, five. And then exhaling slowly for one, two, three, four, five. One more time, inhaling through the nose, holding the breath for one, two, three, four, five. And then exhaling slowly, one, two, three, four, five, relaxing the shoulders, consciously letting go of any tensions, relaxing the hands, relaxing the feet, relaxing the hips, the pelvic region, relaxing the upper back, relaxing the lower back, relaxing the stomach.
So how to remain in our center while in communication and connection with others. How to remain true to ourselves and not be drawn in by whatever is going on for other people. How to speak our truth lovingly at all times. How to say no when that's called for. And how to know your yes and express that clearly when that's called for. So we start this practice by honoring all of our inner emotions, inner energies, all of our mind state and honoring our past, honoring all the experiences that have brought us here today to this point in our evolution. Honoring your family, honoring all the friendships that you've had and all they have taught you, honoring all the breakups you have had and all that they have taught you. Every single person has come into your life with a message for you. And you have come into the life of every single person that you have connected with, with a message for them. This has been a rich and beautiful exchange. And it has led you to become the person that you are today. So just honoring that, honoring your path, honoring all of the connections, all of the people that have formed a part of the movie of your life. So coming into the practice of radical honoring of our own feelings, radical clarity in our communication with others. We come in always to the heart center. Breathe into the heart center, feel the heart opening. Move your energy down to the solar plexus, just above the belly. We check in here, what is my truth in this moment? What do I feel in this moment? Am I being pulled by this person? Am I being pulled out of my own energy into the energy of another? If so, if yes, I ground in to my Manipura chakra, my sacral chakra, and I speak my truth to them, whatever that may be. Creating a clear separation between my self, my desires, my emotions, my energy, and theirs. Each 
equally important in this boundary practice is having the courage and the grace and the self belief and the self worth to ask for what you desire in relationship staying strongly grounded again in your own center breathing into your heart sending your energy down into the second chakra Svadhisthana chakra of creativity sexuality sensuality feeling what is it that I desire in this connection or in this relationship? What is it that I desire to experience? Knowing that it's your right as a sovereign being to ask for what you desire. And knowing at the same time it is the right of the other to respond in whichever way is appropriate for them. So letting go of any control or any desire to manipulate their reaction. You stay in your own center. You stay with your own desires. And you ask for what you would like to receive or to give. Just feeling into that now, how does that feel? Is there someone in your life right now today who you would like to ask for something? Is there any part of you which is holding back from asking because of fear of their reaction, because of fear of vulnerability, fear of opening yourself? Feel into that part. How old is that part of you that is afraid of the other? Checking in with that part of you. Loving that part of you. Reassuring that part of you. That it's safe now to ask for your desires. That it's safe to express your wishes and your feelings. That it's your right as a human being alive in this world. While at the same time feeling into the excitement, the excitement of not knowing what the response of the other may be. The excitement of the possibility of opening, of connection, of greater love, of greater communication, of a greater de degree of feeling between you. Whatever is the nature of this relationship, this is always possible. So staying with the excitement of this possibility instead of the energy of fear that comes from being afraid of rejection. Let us let go of that right now. Breathing in again to your heart center. Knowing that as I express my truth, 
as I express myself, as I ask for my desires and my needs to be met, more and more, I'm revealing myself as a human, as a person. I am showing my beautiful soul to the world. And already this will have a magnetic influence on your experience in the world, on your relationships, because you will slowly become more and more visible, more and more clear, more and more seen, heard and connected, operating from a place of sovereign self-love, self-belief, self-worth. And being completely okay with whatever the reaction is of those with whom you are in relationship. As I honor my own needs, as I honor my own emotions, as I honor my own thoughts, my own beliefs, my own desires, and I express those, I also create space for the honoring of the energy, the emotions, the thoughts, the desires, and the will of the people with whom I'm in relationship. Me standing in my truth and in my center supports those whom I love to stand stronger in their truth and in their center, to be brave enough to be vulnerable, to open their heart, to be able to speak their truth and ask for their needs to be met express their desires in relationship. To finish this short practice, I want to bring your hands in front of your face and just sweep away. So sweep your energy. So right hand sweeping right, left hand sweeping left, clearing your energy field. In the front of your body and the sides of your body and the back of your body, clearing all unhealthy, emotional entanglements that may have come from unexpressed feelings, unexpressed desires, energies of unconscious energies of control, manipulation, manipulation, clearing all of these now from your energetic field. Coming up to above your head, just swelling your hands above your head clearing your crown chakra, opening to divine energy. And then you may want to also just make scissor movements with your fingers, cutting all cords, all energetic cords you may have with any being. Cutting them all quickly and clearly so that you are completely grounded, centered and sovereign in your own energy, knowing what is yours, what are your feelings, what are your emotions, what are your thoughts, what are your desires. 
and not being clouded by anybody else's. You can come back to this practice at any time of the day. Even take a time out break from an interaction with somebody if you feel that you're being pulled by them into places and into feeling states that you are not wanting to go into. Take a quick break, do an energetic clearing, clearing, come back to your own sovereign state and then rejoin the conversation or the connection. Taking another deep breath into the heart center, breathing in, holding the breath for one, two, three, four, five, long, slow out breath, one, two, three, four, five, another breath in, holding the breath for one, two, three, four, five, long, slow exhale, one, two, three, four, five, one more inhale, holding the breath and just placing your two hands on your heart center, one, two, three, four, five and then a long slow exhale releasing all the tension in your body relaxing the hands relaxing the shoulders relaxing the feet the ankles the knees the hip bones the pelvis the back the lower back the upper back the head top of the head the face back of the head, back of the hands, back of the legs. I stand clear in my own energy knowing that it is my right to say yes or no to whatever I like at any time in any relationship or connection I have in my life. And knowing that if I have any lack of clarity, any doubt around my yes and my no, I can come in to place my hands on my belly, my Manipura chakra, feel into my gut instinct, what is it telling me? Is it a yes, I want this? Is it a no, I do not want this? And then clearly state that. to the other person. Thank you for listening. May you have strong and clear boundaries and know your yes and your no and be brave enough to express them. To find out more about my work, please visit my website at www.akashalove.life.